everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave and this is my life. This is also a movie review. This is my review of Oppenheim. And so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Alright, now on to the review. Oppenheim is the scientist that created the atomic bomb to end World War II. Now, mind you, let's see. The Nazis did it first, Russians did it second, and USA did it third. Why is this movie particular of particular importance? It's history. History needs to be shared, needs to be so it's not repeated. Because the saying by, oh my god, I'm forgetting the president's saying. But those that don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. That is true. The movie itself is really great. I love it. I thought it brought a lot of realism to the comic bomb story. And it also, the clothes were great. The sets were awesome. The vehicles were awesome. It had Scarlett Johansson, Bobby Malik, and a lot of other people that are blanking right now. Robert Downey Jr. I like the story the most and the sets. The acting was good. The acting was good. The story itself definitely brought home a lot of realism. Christopher Nolan did a really good job with this movie. And I hope it wins a lot of awards, if there are awards. Because as of right now, there are no awarded shows and no more TV and films. Everybody's on strike. I get that. Again, another vlog, another day. So going back to the review, which I said I liked it. But I'm going to continue talking about the story because I think the story needs to be told. And... You notice, actually, in the history of movies, cinemas, and big events, they always have movies. Port Harbor, 9-11, uh, Flight 93. Ivory Tower actually got its movie, Gustav Eiffel. Uh, let's see, what else is... I mean, there's so much. So I'm really happy that this this story got told because I think it's definitely going to open the door to a lot of questions because it deals this movie deals with backroom deals of government that particular form of government should not only be held accountable but also be brought to light. Um, if you want a democracy, I believe. That full transparency is the best. The movie, in a nutshell, deals with Oppenheimer's uh, Gene Robert Oppenheimer, that is. They only said his first name a few times in the movie, but his full name is Gene Robert Oppenheimer. The family, that is descendants, like the movie. They gave Christopher Nolan a lot of good props on it. So, you know you're doing good when the family likes the movie you made about your relative. <laughs> Back home deals happen, but also I'm happy they brought it to light, which we brought to discuss. There's a lot of realism in the movie, and towards the end, yeah, towards the end, Oppenheimer. Gene Robert realized what he did and I felt that emotion. That emotion stuck with me. I was very upset with that, obviously. Because that guy invented the atomic bomb. But that's my take. I think there's a lot of questions more than answers at this point in time. 
I love the government accountability uh, towards the end. I think that was pretty good. It, the m movie itself showed Jean's relationship on the marriage uh, struggle because of how much work he had to put in to do it, to make the bomb, but also how much the government wanted him to work. So it definitely ripped the family, but not, it kept the family intact. It kept the family intact. Uh, so that's the good part. But it definitely took a toll on the family. And these stories need to be told because there's a realism that you won't get in books. There's a realism that you won't get in reenactments. This realism of war really needs to be made more. Now, I can't serve. I have disabilities of the wazoo. But the more I understand about war, and the more it's portrayed as a dark side, the more I don't like it, number one, going back to Oppenheimer, I love it. I will buy it when it comes out, whether it be on digital or DVD. Probably digital. I like my digital, digital copies. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your day, afternoon, and your evening, wherever you are, on the third planet of the sun, Earth. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been my life. Uh, thank you. Let's see. I said thanks for watching multiple times throughout history. That has happened. I always do that, don't I? I always go from one to the next. That last statement was a different vlog for a different day, which is now the main motion of my entire channel, especially dealing with reviews. <laughs> uh, anywho. Thought about a lot of realism, too. And a lot of other people I'm still blanking on. But... I think it had dates in mind, but I could be wrong. Christopher Nolan, is, but that's not even dealing with my channel. I don't, I don't deal. No, I could, but that's up to everybody else. I don't understand why there isn't. But for the fourth time, this video, different vlog for a different day. However. Did it, the bomb, it, it spun a lot of questions off, um, from that event, you know? Did the bomb need the, did the bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki kind of drop? But also, why did we need to create something like that? Again, for the fifth or sixth time today, different vlog for different day number two I'm wondering now are we looking at AI war where there are no people but again for the seventh time sixth time that I uh, AI war no why well to save civilians yes and army and all those branches of military but then you have AI overthrow all that other stuff 